So those are them. Those are my top five favorite features announced for iOS 12 at WWDC 2018. There are likely to be other features built into iOS 12 in the future that I discover that I end up loving. But these are definitely my top five for right now. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And it has happened. The WWDC 2018 Apple Kino is in the books. A lot was announced. A lot wasn't announced. But today, I thought I would break down my personal favorite announcements from the WWDC 2018 Apple Kino, letting you guys know my top five favorite features in iOS 12. We're just gonna talk about my favorite five features, because otherwise we'd probably be here for like two to three hours. If you want a breakdown of everything Apple announced for iOS 12, you could always watch the Kino. But without any further ado, let's get right into my personal favorite feature of iOS 12. We are finally getting Siri shortcuts. Now, if you guys are subscribed to this channel, you know how much I personally love and hate Siri. Siri's amazing, but she's also sometimes very limited with what she's actually capable of. It's no secret that Siri's lacking a little bit, but that is why I think Siri shortcuts is a huge step in the right direction for Siri and for Apple. I think Siri shortcuts are going to pave the way for the future of Siri and how we could actually make her better. Basically, it sounds like you're going to be setting up an if then scenario. And basically how it's going to work is you could actually streamline different events throughout your day to work with Siri through a Siri shortcut. Now what I mean by that, a couple examples here. Say for instance you want the traffic report every time you leave your work. You can set up a Siri shortcut so that Siri will actually send you a notification and give you the traffic report when you're leaving work because of the Siri shortcut you set up for that. Another example, if you're like me, you drink coffee on a daily basis. I personally make my own coffee, but if you're ordering coffee at your favorite coffee shop on a daily basis and you do that through an app on your iPhone, you could use a Siri shortcut to set up your own command and actually have Siri place the order for you in the morning. So in other words, you could literally wake up and say to Siri, hey, put in an order for the stuff. And in theory, your order for your morning coffee will be automatically placed through the Siri shortcut you set up for that. We're getting a little bit more control over how Siri works for us. And through Siri shortcuts, she's getting a little bit more personalized, definitely getting smarter. And therefore, she's actually becoming that much more capable of doing what we actually need her to do. So I'm hoping that Siri shortcuts is a little glimpse into the future for what Apple has in store for Siri and how Siri could become more helpful, not only in the iOS devices, but in other Apple devices as well. So Siri shortcuts, I'm a fan, can't wait to start using them. Your productivity is going to be through the roof. But next up, I got to talk about a feature I am super stoked about. Finally, we are getting group notifications. I consider myself a minimalistic man who despises clutter. The more clean and organized my life can be, the better I feel. I need organization, which is why I am not joking when I tell you when I've had notifications on my lock screen, on my phone, dozens of them just in reverse chronological order. I've borderline had anxiety just looking at my phone because of all the notifications I actually have to sort through. And when you get as many notifications as I do on a daily basis, I just, I don't have time to sort through them all. There was once a very clever individual who said, and I believe the quote was, ain't nobody got time for that. And it's true. I don't have time to sort through others' notifications. I need, I need grouped notifications. In iOS 12, we're going to have notifications grouped together by app so that you can sort through the notifications in reverse chronological order based on app. Your lock screen is going to be so much more visually appealing and that much easier to actually navigate. And of course, this goes for Notification Center as well. Grouping the notifications together by app will make sure that you don't miss important notifications like I know I do because then you're basically going to be able to look at your lock screen, look at your Notification Center, and only see a couple notifications, group notifications, with the different apps you have notifications from, rather than like a few dozen. It's a very simple change, but a change that I think goes a long way in improving our iOS experience. Next up is a pretty interesting feature that Apple announced at the WWDC 2018 keynote screen time. Let's be honest. We're all basically addicted to our devices, right? It's actually kind of sad when you think about it, how much time on a daily basis we're spending on our technological devices. Sometimes I've been on my phone or whatever device it is for so long that I completely lose track of time. I don't fully realize how much of my daily life is actually dedicated to looking at screens. So much time spent in front of our screens. Perhaps not paying as much attention as we ought to to the world actually around us. And I get it. It's part of the world that we live in today. It's, 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 
It's 2018, I get it. But that's why I do find it interesting how Apple has introduced screen time. Screen time is basically a way to track and monitor how much time you're on your device and where the time you're on your device is actually going towards. But I do think it's a very bold move and a very admirable move of Apple to do this, taking a step in the right direction for technology responsibility. So the next time I'm scrolling endlessly on Instagram, just flicking away, looking at all your beautiful pictures, with iOS 12, I could double check my time on Instagram, even set up daily limits. I could actually get a push notification when I'm nearing that daily limit on whatever app or activity I'm doing on my iOS device. I mean, I'm actually horrified to see how many hours in the day are being dedicated to iPhone use and where those hours are originating from. But maybe that's the kind of insight I need to make sure my technology and real life balance is healthy. Now, whether or not we'll actually have the self-discipline to listen to those limits, to adhere to the limits we set in place through screen time, that will be interesting to see. But nonetheless, the tools are there for us. Screen time is a smart move in the right direction to using our iOS devices in a responsible manner. Number four on my list of favorite iOS 12 features, I have to throw this out there. Memojis. Memojis? Memojis. I think they're, they're, they're memojis. Memojis. Now, huge disclaimer here. In all honesty, I think memojis are rather trivial. I don't think we needed to talk about it as much as we did at WWDC 2018 during the Apple keynote. But I do think it's kind of cool how we will now have an Apple version of our own bitmojis that you could use in iOS 12 and messages and whatnot. Memojis are going to be a kind of cool way to socialize and interact with other iOS users. And it'll be fun sometimes to send a memoji instead of just a boring text message or voice memo or phone call. But then again, after a while, I'll probably probably just default back to text messages like I usually do. I don't really have the time to send a Memoji to all my friends. I'm just shooting out a text. So Memojis are cool in theory, and I'm sure some people will love them. For me, yeah, it's one of my favorite announcements, but not that important. Worth mentioning, worth making my top five list, but you know, Memojis. They are what they are. And last, but certainly not least, as you can expect, we are gonna get speed and performance improvements in iOS 12. Now, as of the making of this video, I'm rocking an iPhone 10 with the latest version of the iOS 11 software, and I gotta be honest, this thing is pretty much blazing fast. This thing's already fast to begin with, so any additional speed or performance improvements is just gonna be, you know, the cherry on top. Speed and performance improvements is something we would expect with a new iOS release. So there's nothing too crazy or groundbreaking to report on here, but Apple did say, in iOS 12, it will be up to 70% faster swiping to your camera, up to 50% faster for your keyboard display, which I am stoked about. Anytime you can get that keyboard up faster, sign me up. And up to a two times faster app launch under a heavy workload. So I think we could all agree, obviously we're excited for the speed and performance improvements in iOS 12. Anytime you make a phone faster, more polished through software updates, it's a good thing. There's likely to be dozens, if not hundreds of more little tiny improvements and updates within iOS 12 that we didn't even hear about at WWDC 2018. A lot of things that are probably just gonna be there in iOS 12 that we didn't even notice, didn't even hear about. The little quirks and changes that Apple builds into their new iOS updates, that's what I look forward to, the little things. In addition, to the big things, but also the little things. So there are likely to be other features built into iOS 12 in the future that I discover that I end up loving. But these are definitely my top five for right now. Do me a favor, leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite features of iOS 12. Are you looking forward to Memojis? Are you deathly afraid of what your screen time numbers are gonna say, but looking forward to it like I am? Leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on iOS 12. And as always, I'll be liking, replying to, and hearting some of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to consider subscribing if you like tech videos, we upload tech videos like this one to the channel each and every week. And now it's time for me to go start thinking long and hard about how I want my Memoji to look like. Do I go with a sophisticated five o'clock shadow and glasses look like I usually rock, or do I want to preserve my youthfulness, go with no beard at all? It's a lot tougher decision than I thought, actually. I'll see you guys in my next video.